Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I first want to thank uh, the Majority Leader, uh, Senator Chiriot, for magnanimously agreeing to have a discussion between myself and him with the intention of trying to calm uh, the tension that we have had in the House this afternoon. Mr. Speaker, uh, leadership uh, is not easy. If you read the book of Judges in the Bible, Mr. Speaker, there are a number of uh, leaders who are anointed by God to lead their people, but on the way they made many mistakes. So we are human beings. Once in a while, we make mistakes. But every day we, we commence our sessions with prayer, and we know that it is biblical to forgive. And I'm happy that uh, the majority leader uh, this afternoon has extended an olive branch to all of us to restore to solving our problems through some form of dialogue, which is a good thing. And uh, Mr. Speaker, I also want to extend uh, gratitude to your office uh, because once I had a discussion with the majority leader, you also agreed uh, to meet us. And I know it was not easy. That was not a very easy conversation. But it, it's uh, times like this that uh, leaders emerge. The speaker leaders always extend an hand of forgiveness. Like Joseph in the Bible, who forgave his brothers even after the kind of atrocities they committed against him. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to just echo the words of the majority leader that we have agreed that you kindly step down the communication that you wanted to make this afternoon in the interest of restoring harmony in the House, and that, uh, Mr. Speaker, you kindly and graciously agree to allow the four senators to continue uh, participating in the proceedings of the House, and that uh, we are all senators, we have the title honorable members, Mr. Speaker, we can retreat tomorrow and have a discussion as leaders to find a solution. Mr. Speaker, this has happened uh, before. I remember there is a time we protested that this House could not uh, continue with these sessions when Senator Lelegwe, Senator Malala, and the Senator Langat were arrested. And the Speaker then agreed to adjourn the House till we find our three colleagues. Uh, that was unprecedented. So, and I think what you are going to do, Mr. Speaker, today may be unprecedented, but we'll be, we'll be citing it in the future should an occasion like this uh, arise. So I urge you, Mr. Speaker, uh, to concur with the request that has made by the majority leader uh, so that we can resume conducting the business of the House in harmony. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.